This video has been created to demonstrate the new multi-threaded rendering feature in QGIS 2.4. Multi-threaded rendering speeds up map refreshes and makes the QGIS user interface more responsive. The following benchmarks compare rendering speeds for a complex vector dataset. The map shows four ordnance survey vector map district tiles around Greater London. A style sheet provided by OS has been applied. The left half of the screen shows the render progress for QGIS 2.2, while the right half of the screen shows the render progress for QGIS 2.4 using four processor cores and a one second update interval. The next test highlights the primary benefit of multi-threaded rendering. In this test, we zoom as quickly as possible to the Millennium Dome in Greenwich, London. In QGIS 2.4, rendering operations are simply cancelled and restarted at the new zoom level whenever the map is zoomed. In 2.2, each map render blocks the user interface until the render completes. Here we compare the time taken to render the whole dataset. Due to the complexity of the style assigned to the layers, there is only a 3.1 second or a 16% reduction in render time. Here is the same data set with a simplified style. Here the render is quicker with a reduction of 8.3 seconds or 49%. Multi-threaded rendering can be configured through the Options menu. Simply use this checkbox. Use this option to limit the number of processor cores used for rendering. The map is updated periodically during the rendering process. Use this option to dictate how frequently. Multi-threaded rendering ensures the QGIS user interface no longer blocks while waiting for slow renders as well as speeding up the renders themselves. Multi-threaded rendering was developed by Martin Dabius at Luge Consulting with generous co-funding support from the Swiss QGIS user group, Siege of Switzerland and Digital Mapping Solutions of Australia.